Hi, so in this video today, I want to go from the organic compound in the full structural diagram and go to the name. So let's start off with a four carbon chain and I'm going to put a couple of groups on here and add in my hydrogens so that each carbon has four bonds. So the way that we would name this is first of all, you want to find the longest continuing chain of carbons. So if I go one, two, three, I can go four across the top, or I could go one, two, three, four down the bottom. It doesn't matter which way I choose. I'm just going to go with the linear version. Uh, the name will come out the same. So four carbons gives me butte. Looking at the bonds between the carbons, we've got single bonds. So remember, single bonds are alkanes, double bonds are alkenes, triple bonds are alkynes. And these are all single bonds here, so it's butane. Now looking at the groups that are coming off that main chain, I've got a single carbon, which is a meth. When it's not part of the main chain, I don't need to put methane or methene or methine. I add YL. And this is indicating it's coming off that main chain. So I've got a methyl. And F is fluoro. So for your halogens, you have fluoro, chloro, bromo. So fluorine would be fluoro. So actually, before I draw that in, let's do the numbering. Got a bit keen there. So we want these two to be on the lowest possible number. So if I number from this carbon here, this can be one, two, three, four. I have a one fluoro, two methyl. So one, two. Now, if I count differently, from the other side, one, two, three, four, I would get a three methyl and a four fluoro. So if I literally get my calculator and I add one plus two, I get three. If I add three plus four, I get a larger number than three. I get seven. So I want to go with the smallest possible. So that would be the numbering from here with four being here. So that's a 1-fluoro and a 2-methyl. Now, when I'm putting this together, I want to do it alphabetically. So looking at the F and the M and putting them in alphabetical order. If I have multiple fluoros, so I might have di, tri, so di being 2, tri being 3, I don't look at that di or tri for producing that alphabetical order. I look at the actual compound um, or group that's attached there. So it'll be uh, one fluoro, two methyl, butane. So that's a fairly simple example. Let's have a go at something a little bit more harder, but still quite simple. So let's go with an alkene. So we've got a double bond now that you can see, and that's between carbons one, two, three, four, five. So it's between carbons two and three. So first of all, longest continuing chain of carbons. Okay, so like I said, one, two, three, four, five carbons. So we're going pent. Now it's a double bond, so pentene is that backbone. Now because this is not on carbon one, it's actually on carbon two, we would need to label that one. So I can put the two out the front, two pentene, or I can do pent two ene. I kind of like this one, it looks better, but they're both the same. Now 
We've taken into account the double bond, the backbone. We need to look at the substituents coming off that aren't hydrogen. So in this one, we've just got two chlorines. And because this one needs to be on the lowest possible number, we need to go one, two, three, four, five. If I was to number the other way, that would be on a much higher number. So numbering here, this is on the lowest of these two where the double bond is two. And if I number starting here, one, two, the lowest is three. So this would be the right way to number. So that means that these two chlorines are on carbon one. So it'd be one, one, dichloro pent two ene, or one, one, dichloro two pentene for that particular example. Okay, so hopefully that's given you a little bit of help in starting the nomenclature problems that you might have in your course. So when it gets more difficult, you might have multiple groups and you need to do the sum. So thinking about if I individually add all of the numbers of the carbons that each of those substituents are on, I need to get the smallest possible number. So that's when you're working um, out the ordering of which carbon chain side you're starting with your number one on. So just remember that the sum of those substituents needs to be the smallest possible number. And actually, I find that in terms of challenging questions, the simpler ones, the alkanes, the alkenes, alkynes, can be quite harder than the alcohols and the carboxylic acids because determining where you're going to start that num numbering from um, is the bit that's a little bit more thinking involved. Okay, thank you.